Representative Basabe, you're recognized in debate. Thank you, Madam Chair. Hi, everyone. My name is Fabian Basabi, and um, my pronouns are love, loves, and love self. And I want you all to know that you have all been heard and you are all loved. That is not what the discussion is today. I've been struggling with this bill, not because of its content, but because of the interpretations and the impact that it's had on the community and how it's been exacerbated in ways that just seem like a, members of a community that we all know members of the communities that we all share together. We all live among our together. We all live together. Um, this is not this is not about over identifying a community and singling anybody out. I want to bring the focus back to what I understand this bill to say. And I've spent time and thank you rep for spending the time with me to understand my concerns because I mainly want to make sure that people understand they're not being targeted. And something that was brought to my attention is I kept searching for the the targeting of, of members of our community in this bill when I can pick up a document from the Miami-Dade School Board that says something as careless as the Miami-Dade Public Schools is firmly committed to school safety for all students, staff, and family members. It should stop there, but it goes on to single out by including, by saying, including lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and queer, LGBTQ, as if that's somehow a separate genre or separate class of people. I, I put these members of our community in the all students, and that's from the Miami School Board. This bill is basically, it's not prohibiting the speech. It's, um, it's not how I'm reading it, and I'm asking rep, because I'm, 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 from my understanding, what I'd like to vote in favor of is what this bill is intended to do, and, and rep, if you've agreed to work with me on some of the language here to, re, to, re, um, to reiterate that. My understanding is this is not prohibiting people from not recognizing what they might not understand. If we have a lot of work to do in our school systems, we don't have teachers that a majority have a master's in child psychology and early child development. And that says something great about our, not so great about our educational programs. And, we, and, and I'm very fearful for children and any member of, of society that's struggling with identity and, and, and in fear of displacement. Um, so it's not, how I, it's not how I read this bill, but I do, I do understand that things are left to interpretation and I don't want to allow that because I've gotten to know a lot of the members of both sides of the aisle in this governing body. And, and these are good people with, with, that receive people with open arms and uh, while there's a little bit of work to do on this, and I appreciate you taking the time, and I don't want to take too much time, and I wrote, I didn't have anything prepared to say. I'm so emotional right now. I've got notes everywhere. Um, you know, there, there, I also want to say there's a reason why gender studies is taught at a college level. I think that in our early years, we need to be taught the simple notion of acceptance and tolerance. And then the core basics of a classroom structure should give us the balance of, of all the education that we need so that we can grow into the adults that can make the decisions to lead the lives any way any of us choose. Um, so anyway, I, I'm, I'm doing a lot of work on this bill. Many of you have stopped by my office. You know where my heart is. Please give this governing body a chance to, to do what they believe is right for our students. We all have the best intentions for kids. We don't want to see any harm done. Um, just please be patient and don't let the political aspect of this you know, if, if I saw anything in this bill that was targeting same-sex prom dates or, um, you know, anything like that, I, I, I would vote no. But that's not what this is. This is saying that if you don't understand it, you have a right to not discuss it. And if you do discuss it, because you can't control people's thoughts and words, if you do, just please bring the parents into the conversation. And I identify first as a parent. And if anything goes on with my child on a playground, I want to know what's going on. I want to be brought into that conversation. So um, I'm, I'm there for now, but I'm, I'm going to vote in support, and I appreciate you taking more time with me on this bill. Representative Chambliss, you're recognized. And I also appreciate a lot of the people of the community that stayed, because some people came to just to rant a bit and then leave, but I, 
it's important that you see that this is this is something that we are really seriously considering. Thank you, Madam Chair. For Thank, you, Representative, Representative Thank you, Representative Representative Chambliss.